Hey there, Dr. Dave here. Welcome to another Mindstorms EV3 tutorial. We begin this tutorial by looking at some basic movement using the tank movement block. So first we drag the block in. And we look at the different options so we can turn it on, off, rotate it for a certain number of seconds. We're going to rotate it for a certain number of rotations. Next we can we'll look at changing the power to either side, either wheel. We can either do that using the slider bar or we can actually change the number manually by typing it in. We're going to keep both power at 50. And finally, the number of rotations will drive forward is 3. OK, so next we're going to introduce a second block for rotating. But before we change the values on that, we'll introduce a wait block, which will wait 5 seconds between those two movement commands. Okay, so then for the this one, to turn it on the spot, we have one wheel going at 50 and the one going at negative 50. And here we can see the robot moving forward, waiting for five seconds, and then rotating. In order to improve the accuracy of our movement, we need to do some calculations. So let's assume we want to move our robot forward 80 centimeters. We look at the diameter of the wheel, We've measured that to be 5.6 centimetres. So using a bit of basic mathematics here, we can work out the circumference of the wheel to be 17.6 centimetres. So every time we do one rotation of the wheel, we move ahead 17.6 centimetres. So the number of revolutions required for that to move 80 centimetres is going to be 4.55. Having done our measurements, we're now going to use those measurements to move forward 80 centimetres, rotate 180 degrees and then move, return to our starting position by moving forward again 80 centimetres. So we modify our code, uh, through a bit of trial and error we worked out that the number of revolutions to turn 180 was approximately 1.25, putting some delays in between each movement phase and then finally replicating the initial movement, moving it again forward 4.55 rev revolutions, which from our calculations corresponded to about 80 centimetres. And we can see now our robot moving forward, delay, turning around, and then moving back to its starting location. The last thing we're going to look at in this tutorial is using a loop to drive the robot in a square. So, begin by selecting the number of times we uh, iterate around the loop. So we use the count method to go iterate four times. Next, we use a tank block, and we're going to drive three rotations forward. Introduce a one second delay, and then a second tank block to rotate the robot 90 degrees. Okay, and we need to change the rotation to 0.66 in this case. And finally, a second, one second delay. Okay, and then we can see our robot driving forward, turning through approximately 90 degrees, rotating again, driving forward, and ending up roughly at the starting point. Alrighty, hopefully that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching and uh, come back for more. Bye.